Uh, very well. Okay, we're going to call the meeting to order. Uh, okay, uh, we are, I guess, on Zoom as usual. Uh, I want to welcome everyone to the Wayham Zoning Board Appeal meeting for tonight, July 22nd, 2020. It is 6 or 7 p.m. And apparently we are online. Uh, and just for the records on uh, next month, uh, we start holding meeting at the town hall for whoever is watching. Uh, unfortunately, myself, I won't be for both meetings in August. I have a family matter, so I won't be I won't be attending both meetings in August. But we have enough members to carry on. But I have to let everyone know that. Okay, I want to make a roll call. Everybody, state their name, please. The members. Richard, Sam Richard Sample, here. Veronica Debanese. Christopher Conti, associate member. Um, I just joined on, guys. I don't get my picture going yet. This is uh, Jacob Morrison. Hi. Okay, and Nazir Palasi, I'm the chair. Mr. Akabach is out tonight, but he's away also in some business matter or family. And he he's gonna try to join us. I I don't know, but we'll Walt see. Walt is here goes. as well. Huh? What is it? Walter Cruz. Walt. Oh, Walter. Did you Walter say your Cruz. name? Oh, okay. Walter, Walter Cruz. Very good. We got you. All right. So we're gonna. Any preliminary business? Uh, Ken, do we have any minutes or anything? Uh, we do have minutes, but they weren't sent out, so you can uh, pass over that. All right, we're going to go to the public hearing. The first public hearing, 8-20, John Churchill. It's a variance, 2850 Cranberry Highway, map 129 lot 1077. Is anybody here from JC? Hi, Chair, okay. I'm representing Mr. Churchill on this matter. You are? Okay. Uh, all right, I can say on this matter. Uh, Anybody, anyone in the members comfortable to chair the care, the, the, the hearing? Um, <laughs> hey, Ken, could you send me a link if you get a chance, if, unless you don't want to see my face? Do you need uh, a video link? Monica, can you chair the hearing? I would need some help to do so, but... Um... I don't know. I, you see, I can't... I, I mean, I could help you, or but you see, I, I'm not supposed to by law because I've done business with Mr. Churchill. I could, I could help. I could. I, I don't know, Council. What do you think, or can? Um. Well, if you recuse yourself, you got to recuse yourself. Yeah, I know. See, that's the thing. I have to recuse myself. So I, I can't. mean, guys, I can try to help. I'm just, you know, um, you guys are really good at wording things. So as long as I get a little, little bit of help, then you know, not a problem. We'll get you through it. All right, can we do So who's going to chair? But, but Jake, you want to chair? Veronica, you want to do it? Walter? Um, I'd rather not, but I mean... All right, let's try Veronica. Veronica, you chair. <laughs> and Ken would help you. Okay. All right, so Mr. Well, Sample... Well, actually... What I was going to say is, I'm looking for the documents. I don't. I don't have documents to chair with. All right. Well, the council is going to present the documents for yeah, variance I'm, and the plans. I have the plans I can put up. Veronica. She could put you up the plans, and she'll present the case. If you guys not comfortable, I guess you could do your best you can, and then in August it'll be public, and, and may, hopefully Mr. Churchill will be there. Then you could see more. And Jim would be, but uh, Jim, can I jump back in? Because well, it, it, it this cannot, brings it, up, um, this is not a great time for it to be brought up, but I think that um, a lot of the board members, we probably should have a little bit of training in doing this type right, of thing. But there's five board members. We have to open the hearing if she wishes yeah. to. But let me, let me explain to everyone how it's going to work. You guys could do the best you can. Can we walk you through it in August? Uh, if you, I don't know if you're gonna take a decision tonight. I doubt it. But if you don't come in August, the first hearing in August. If you continue it, Jim will be 
back. He cannot vote, but he could assist as well as can. And hopefully also whoever's there, maybe somebody from JC Engineering can answer questions, but we have to open the hearing now. There's enough board member and we're gonna open it. Unless okay. the counselor would choose to continue until gym in August. And I would just say that I would be prepared if this were. Well, uh, well. first if, of all, we gotta read it for the record. Let's read it for okay. the record again. All right. The Zoning Board of Appeals will hold an online public hearing on July 22nd, 2020 at 6 p.m. to consider petition number 8-20 for a variance for the, from the requirements from Article 3, Table 320 under the Wareham Zoning Bylaws for John Churchill Jr. of 285, 2854 at Cranberry Highway, East Wareham, Mass, proposing construction of a two-family dwelling at 2850 Cranberry Highway, East Wareham, Mass, Assessor's Map 129, Lot 1077 in the CS Zoning District. All right, very well. I'm the Chair Nazi Al-Kalasi. I have to recuse myself for conflict. Mr. Sample will, sit in my, will take my vote and Mr. Conti will take Mr. Akubachi vote and Veronica Devenese will chair. And all right, I'm not, so Councillor, she'll decide what she wants to do. Go ahead, Ken, you can assist uh, Veronica. I'm gonna go off the so, Veronica, screen, you guys know what you have to do. So, okay. Veronica, you open it up in for uh, a presentation of the, uh, of the document, the petition. So, um, Councillor, if you want to state your name sure. um, for the record. Sure, it's Attorney Jillian Morton of Morton Law. Um, and would you like, I, so you didn't get privy to the any of the plans or anything? Sonia didn't send, okay. I haven't uh, seen anything. I definitely want to make sure you guys can see online. that. Yeah, so I can pull it up, Ken, if you'd like. I have them up. Okay. Do you want me to do it? You can share, sure. Okay, sure. <clears throat> okay, so you should be able to see it. I can also close in on things and then hopefully shift it down. Let me know if you need it expanded or, or anything. Um, does that look okay to everyone? Yes. Okay, great. Um, so my client um, is an engineer in town, as uh, many of you know, who owns the property right adjacent to this property in question. Um, 280, um, 2850 Cranberry Highway. As you can see, the parcel has a huge amount of wetland right over here, over on the side it adjoins um, the Agawam Mill, Mill Pond, and there's a canal that goes through there. Um, and also you can see that with us looking to do a residential, you have that buffer zone right there, okay? So you have a 30 foot no touch. If we were to go commercial on it, we'd have the 50 foot. Um, the, the back of the lot, as you can see, is quite wet. Um, I actually did get to walk the lot and kind of um, see the different topography as, as well, just so I was educated on the lot. So back here is all, all pretty wet. Um, it's the intention of the applicant to be able to put a two family here. Um, and what the variance would be as far as the lot size, right? So we're in um, a district where you need 45,000 square foot and um, for the two family, and that would be a variance for that. Um, there's also I, your front yard variance as well too. That's right, yep. Yep, so there's a variance as far as the front yard. So one of the things that was important to me was be able to see um, the surrounding areas as well, as far as uh, two families. This is Cranberry Highway, obviously, um, you know, a, a busy road one way as you're, you know, going by um, the Elks and fan club. Um, and just checking that out, if there were other two families or three families in the area, and um, actually, so this this is doesn't show it on the plan, but right over here is Old Glen Charlie Road. There is a three family, and there is a two family, you know, so very a thrown toss a, a stone toss away from my client's business. Um, so wouldn't be out of the scope to have a two family here on this lot. Um, so I mean, as far as the plans go and things like that, I you know if you have questions. The variance being in some of the newer members, this is why um, if you don't decide on it tonight, it's fine. Just um, having the training, right, Veronica, is the, on the different statutory um, things that we have to meet on a variance. So going through a variance, having a unique 
lot. That's important to meet that. This lot, as you can see, has is adjoined by the um, the canal, like we talked about, has us, all this wetland in the back. And um, to do the two family right here would provide obviously the housing for which we desperately need in Wareham and provide two, two houses. The client would like to still have ownership of the houses and be able to rent them out. So it'd be rental properties, um, you know, for people in the town. Okay, so I, I have a question on um, how, how big is the lot right now? How far are we from what's required? So the lot is just about, where's the key so I can, usually it's in here, 30,000, I believe. <clears throat> Let me just zoom out for you. So the lot's 30,000? Yes, it's just right down here. Okay. Okay. And the requirement is 45. 45 would be a two family. So and what is the hardship here? Yeah, so the hardship would be the fact that um, the viability of the project. So to build a one family right here on on while there's other two families and three families right next door um, on even smaller lots, I may add, um, you know, this is a, a developer, a person who wants to provide housing, but also has to have viability to provide housing and a profit firm as well. So having the two um, units right there would provide two separate um, tenants um, and help the project along. So that's his hope to have the, you know, he, he, we wanted to go for a three family. So we, we talked about that and said two family. So. so I, before I um, open it to the rest of the board, I do have one comment to make on this and that would be um, a hardship would require a land hardship, not use hardship. Um, so, so I, yeah, if you would like me to speak to that, the other option for this lot, of, you know, the district that zoned in would be like a commercial use, right? So a commercial use would add a 50 foot buffer. So you're getting, you know, cutting the lot off even more than it is. This back part of it would probably be completely unusable. It's already pretty much unbuildable right here. Um, so he's looked into that. He's looked into having a commercial use on the, on the property. Um, so the lot actually, the nature and the topography lot is um, a hardship to him. You can't uh, market it to someone who wants to come in and put a commercial building in because there frankly isn't enough parking or just lot sized for the buildability. So he's, he's looked into that option. I have one okay, question. I don't know that that, I'm sorry, I don't know that that qualifies as a hardship, but um, go ahead, what was the question? I'm, I'm, I'm looking, so that, that piece of property goes right alongside the Heron Run yeah. Canal, is that correct? And then we have Agawam Mill Pond, that's yeah. all the water on the other side. Um, is, uh, I'm kind of a little concerned as far as the building encroaching, I know that there are some houses alongside that canal, but I don't believe that they're right on top of it. Is that a, uh, an area of concern as far as, will that do any anything to that affecting the heron running up through that area? Yeah, so I, I think that's the importance of having that setback and why this change about four years ago, having that additional setback of the, it's a 30 foot buffer. It's actually a quite a bit of um, land right here in between. The house would be well set off. There are houses that are right on the Herring Run. I don't know if they're pre-existing, non-conforming, but um, there is a quite a bit of space. So if it's something where you guys would want to like walk the lot to take a look at that, how much how much is that actual space? It's quite a bit. Um, so so that's what I'd say to that. And the I'm fact that it that be area, and, and I know that they are, uh, it doesn't seem to be a lot of room, but I, I would like to walk back out and I'd like to see a little more of this for, for me to move on. That's what I, I agree with, with Richard and, and I, I guess I have a question whether um, Dave Pichette, uh, Conservation Environments, has, has he been involved? Um, I'd have to talk to the client about that. I know obviously it would be one of his concerns um, being so close there. Um, I don't know if he, he noted it on the plan as far as, but I, I know that it's flagged off for the wetlands and it's when I walked it, I saw all the flags as far as the no touch as well. So I, I could follow up with the client as far as if you did talk to the conservation. Uh... Okay, so I, I do have a few other concerns if, if, if I may. Um, so, so what you were asking here first is a, a special permit, right? Because of um, 320, so, we need a special permit. And then we're also asking for a variance because of the lot area and the frontage. Is that, is that correct? 
Yeah, so we're really, um, and I think we had dealt with this prior to your being on the board, um, it was submitted as a special permit. It's very clear that it is a variance. Um, so it's really under the variance bubble that, you know, obviously we'd like it to be a special permit, but um, we understand that it is changing the nature um, and has to meet those statutory requirements to do a variance. Okay, so, and then, yeah, I was kind of concerned that, you know, you have the right to put what a single family on there and it would be a conforming lot, right? You meet all the requirements to put a single family. Right. And, and we're doing this just because what greater investment is that is that what I understood? There's a greater investment, the actual need in Wareham, as many of you know, is actual affordable housing for people. people is this going to be affordable work. housing? Yes, rental low. I mean, it's not going to be low income, you know, per se designated by the state as a 40 B, but it is, um, you know, within that mark of people who can't buy right now because of the market. So you look anywhere on Facebook or on the different avenues that people can search for apartments it's um it's an issue right now in the town the housing I, I agree with that and that's why i was asking if it was going to be affordable housing yeah so it's not that would be a separate designation you'd have to go for um i do know he's not trying to stick luxury uh to family right there he wants to you know make a living for himself use a lot help the town to have some tenants in there that could use um a, a home to live in right i didn't know if it would be better for where him to be affordable housing. Also, I, I guess the other question is uh, our town engineer, has he um, looked at the, all of these plans? And also it looks like you, you're creating an easement for what is that, the leach field type deal on the other piece so of you're, property? You're looking at this part right here? Yes. Yep. So let me zone in on that. And that would probably, I'd want to have either Sam and Ellie or, or um, the client here to be able to specifically speak to the septic because that's what they do. But there was an existing leach field there in the back, which um, he's taking, um, the assessed pool that he's taking care of over here. And yes, yeah, so there would be an easement over there in the back near the septic. So now how does that work with an easement? There's two separate properties. So if, if one property was to be sold or would both properties be tied together and only be sold together? I guess I have a concern about that too. Yeah, so so obviously he owns this parcel. So we'd be giving an easement to the other parcel he owns. Um, I would, that would be a title question as far as are we gonna make that in perpetuity? Um, with this being an access easement, I would probably think that that would go on because it's it's for the access to um, it, like kind of a utility easement. That's dealt with by the Board of Health in the, yeah. uh, the permit for the septic system. That's right. Any other board members have comments? Walter? <laughs> Walter, do you have any comment? No Can comments for me right now. Can you unmute, now. Veronica? <clears throat> Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. okay. No comment, Walter? Um, no, not at this time. Okay. Um, any comments from anyone from hey. the public? Or? I, I, I just got one more. I, did you say that this is going to be a joint ownership or is there... No, it's the same owner. So the my client will keep the ownership. So he owns the parcel of the business next door, and he would be not selling these. These are not um, these would be he'd help hold on to the properties. Now, now these are what two, three families. These right here. It's two. Yeah. So one unit right here. Uh, yeah, three bedrooms. I'm sorry, three uh, three bedrooms. Three bedroom unit. Yep. So two so, three bedroom units. So a total of six six bedrooms. Yeah, and. And if that is something that the board wants to walk um, or board members want to walk the lot, definitely invite that. And then um, the idea too is that we're right near other parcels that have these three families and two families also on actually smaller lots. And, you know, so you would get like a real feel for the lot. So I, I um, think there's so too much on the lot myself. I think they're, I think I would, I would rather see them reduced down. Um, I don't know. That's that. That's just my opinion. I'd like to hear from, I guess, uh, conservation. I'd like to hear from the town engineer on on their opinions. Yeah, this, is, this is Jacob Morrison, and uh, yes, I think same thing as well. Um, I know you guys can't see me, but I'm still here. So, Jake, you want to hear from the town engineer, and you'd like to hear yeah, from yeah, conservation? Yeah, you know, before, before we go forward with anything, yeah. For sure. And like you said, you were going to ask if um, any from, anyone from the audience is in favor or against. Um, maybe, yeah, just ask that again, Veronica, and then we'll see if anyone has anything to say against this. Yeah, well, actually, uh, before I do that, can we 
find out also a little bit about the front variants that you're looking for because there are two variants that you're looking for here right yeah so in this I don't know if the easiest way it is maybe have uh, Sonia resend out to the board members like the application would that be helpful since it seems like we're going the route we're going to continue this so then you would have all the attachments and the yes. plans and stuff like that okay so I can get I can get with um, Ton, um Sonia about that okay so if it, you're on the, on the website I'm sorry. What was that? It's available on the ZBA website. Okay. And, and those projects. Okay. Okay. So if anyone from the public has a comment to make at this time, um, they can do so. I hear none. So I think what we'll do with, is continue this till next meeting, yep. which would be 12th. August 12th. 12th. Yeah. August 12th. That's right. Um, all in favor? Why is that? That's something we're, we're going to be voting on, Ken. To yeah, continue? We, want, we want a motion and a second. Okay, can I have a motion to continue this? Second that, Jacob Morrison. Aye. Do we get a motion yet? Make a motion to. Um, <laughs> sorry, I thought you already did a motion. Make continue motion to, to August twelfth. Correct. Can I get a second on the? I second, Chris Conti. Okay, so we're continued to the twelfth. Okay, and that's and so hopefully we'll be a little better better able to. Do we have to vote on that, or no? Oh yes, actually, uh, Ken, do I? We need to vote on that, or do we? We had a second. Okay, all right. Then all in favor. Aye, Roll Chris Conti. Okay. Aye, Rick Semple. Aye, Jacob Morrison. And I, Veronica Debenies. Walter Cruz, I. So I think it's unanimous. Okay, great. And okay, I'm going to ask the um, board if there are any questions um, to direct them to me or myself, and we can reach out. Or if they want to walk the lot, I'm happy to do that within that time frame. Yes, I'd like to, to walk the lot. And uh, how do we find out information about um, with conservation, Dave? If he looked at it in town engineer, how do we find find that information? I'll, to, I'll do that. Okay, I'm thanks. Gonna, and, okay, I'm sure you that Mr. Churchill had spoken to them regarding the herring run and, and things like that, but I don't have that information right with me, so that would be helpful. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Attorney Morton. Thank you very much. All right, go on to the next agenda item, and then we can have Nazi back in as being chairman. Well, oh, Veronica did pretty good. Yeah, she did fine. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, good job, Veronica. Show up today. I don't know. <laughs> Nazi, better watch out. She's coming. Oh, <laughs> well, he's he's having dinner. <laughs> Auntie Cricket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He was that last week too. How does the chair know to come back? Oh, oh here, here he is. is. <laughs> That's me calling you. Ah, uh, okay, good. All right, you good? Okay, good. So we're on the next one. Next one, thirteen dash twenty. Barbara Vieira, care of Deborah. Derba Construction Inc. Special Permit Slash Variance 214 Back Road, Wareham, Mass. Do I read that, Ken, please, for the record? The Zoning Board of Appeals will hold an online public hearing on July 22nd, 2020 at 6 p.m. to consider petition number 13-20 for a special permit and or variance from the requirements of Article 13, Section 1355 and Section 1356 under the Wareham Zoning Bylaws for Barbara Vieira care of Durba Construction Incorporated of 20 Merchants Drive, Walpole, Mass. Proposing demolition and reconstruction of a single family dwelling at 214 Bake Barker Road, Wareham, Mass. Assessor's map 125 lot 1002 in the R130 zoning district. All right, very well. On this matter, Mr. Conti will be saying on um, Mr. Akawachi chair. So Mr. Conti will be voting for Mr. Akabachi. Mr. Sample, you could uh, you could like uh, give your opinion and ask question as well with this matter. All right, who's presenting that case? We need names and stats. 
Um, uh, good evening, everyone. My name is James Garfield. I'm an engineer at Morse Engineering uh, here tonight representing Barbara Vieira for this raise and rebuild. Um, forgive me, I'm not quite as technically knowledgeable on how to pull the plan up myself. Um, but as stated earlier, oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, we could see that. Yep. Hold on one second. Okay. Um, so, um, do you do you guys know? Do I have control over this, or does does someone else? I have control over it right now. You can you, tell you me. Do you mind scrolling down just just a hair, just so we can see the um, White Island Ponds at the bottom of the page? I just like everybody to see that. Yeah. Yeah, we see this. Okay, so um, familiarize yourself with the plan here. We've got our, our property lines outlined in bold. White Island Pond is down located at the bottom of the page. Um, so as the site currently sits, it's a uh, existing single family dwelling, which was built in 1906. Um, this is a pre-existing non-conforming lot solely in regard to one of the side setbacks. Um, this is, again, the residential district R130 with a side setback requirement of 30 feet. Um, and the left side, which I guess here is shown um, on the right side of the lot, is uh, the existing setback is 12 feet. And we're proposing a setback of, I believe it, it might be a typo there. It says 12.6, but it's actually 12.2 uh, for the new single family dwelling which is still further away from the lot line than what currently exists. Um, this new single family dwelling is basically going in the same location that it currently exists. And we're just pulling it just a little bit further back from the pond. So with that, I will leave it to you for any questions. Okay, very well. So we have an existing four, a, a, an existing four bedroom house. You're replacing it with a three bedroom house. Um, again, I, I'm sorry, I, I believe it's an existing two bedroom house, um, which by the state title five for septic, um, you have to design with a minimum of three bedrooms. So it being an existing two bedroom house, we were able to use a three bedroom dwelling without considering it new construction. Okay, so you were able to use the same septic. Not that it matters for us, that's It's, that's it's a new the septic house. system, but um, it what didn't fall into the new construction category, so. Yeah. All right, we're gonna turn it to, to, the, uh, to the members. We'll start with Veronica, ladies first. Oh, I think I think it actually says on the plan, existing full bedroom. Yeah, I believe it's a typo, sorry about that. Oh, oh, okay. I don't have any questions at this time. Seems pretty uh, let, me, let me explain a quick for everyone what's going on here. In this district, you need a setback of, unfortunately, for 30 feet from side, uh, rear, left and right, and front setback of 100. And that was a zoning, a planning, bad planning back in 2005, and we've been trying to change in it. We did the last town meeting changing the front setback to 50 and we're working on changing the setbacks on the sides because it's the whole area. Everybody gonna have to come to variance every time they have to spend money come for that problem. So what we have to do, first of all, we gotta give um, Mrs. Vieira, Mrs. Vieira, if the board wishes, we have to give her a relief on uh, 1355 and treat it as a special permit if the board wish so then we'll act on the special permit which is by right to erase and rebuild so now go ahead with your questions everyone board member uh, what's, uh, veronica so i just need a little bit of clarification now i i thought that i understood what we were doing but uh maybe i don't the first part of what you just described is approval for a setback on something that is already in place that's non-conforming. So I thought that the whole thing would fall under that non-conformance. Right. Well, if we if we believe it's detrimental to the neighborhood, it's a variance. So we have to, if we believe it's not 
detrimental and then we treat it as a special permit that's what the 1355 relief is so if the board believe it's not detrimental to the neighborhood will vote as a special permit then we move to a special permit case okay understood and so then at that at this point i guess i would say that to me as this is presented it looks like an improvement of what's there and existing so it would not be detrimental and in my mind this is definitely a special permit all right okay uh mr mr conte uh i also agree i don't think it's uh, detrimental to the neighborhood and um i don't i don't have any more questions i'm fine with it walter from walter cruz no i don't have any questions i feel the same way that it's not detrimental i'm looking at it um i mean there are 12 six to that line but um i'm fine with the way it's designed okay richard mr sample i, I agree it's not detrimental to the to the neighborhood good jake uh, I agree with the board as well, Jacob Morris and I. All right. Uh, anyone in the audience want to speak in favor or against? Okay. I hear none. So, uh, Mr. Applicant, Mr. Um, the applicant, what's the gentleman name from from uh, uh, Morse, uh, Morse Engineering? That uh, James Garfield. James, you want to add anything before we move to close? No, I think uh, we've covered everything, so. Okay, okay, so here in uh, no argument and no comments from the public, can I get a motion to close the public hearing? I'll, I'll make a motion to uh, close the public hearing. Okay, I have a motion by Jake Morrison to close that. I have a second. Walter Cruz, I second. Okay, Walter, second. All in favor, say their name and state yes or no. Veronica Debanese, aye. Chris Conte, aye. Walter Cruz, aye. Jacob Morrison, aye. And Nazi Alcalasi, aye. Okay, now uh, public hearings closed. Now, I would like to, a motion with the finding that's not detrimental to the neighborhood to give them to treat it as a special permit, so they get a relief under 1355. So whoever wants to make a motion will has to make a motion that it's not detrimental. And it will so be I'll make a motion to um, uh, move this forward as a special permit being not detrimental to the neighborhood. Okay, we have a motion by Veronica for special permit. Do I have a second on that? Second that, Jacob Morrison, aye. Okay, all in favor say aye. Veronica Debanese, aye. Chris Conte, aye. Walter Cruz, aye. Jake. Jacob Morrison, aye. And Nazi al I. Okay, now we go into argument on the special permit. What's the board wishes? Argument on special permit or is variance? No, like I mean, like argument, like what do you like to? It's it's not it's a, it's a special permit. It's said now in the special permit, you could put conditions, um, but standard condition. You could say, I want the house squared off, I want the shrubs, whatever. I mean, like this, you could discuss that, whatever you wish, whatever like you have in your mind. You just make a motion for uh, to approve the special permit with the standard conditions. Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the, the permit with standard conditions. Okay, any discussion on that on that motion? from the board members. Walter Cruz, none for me. Conte, nope. do you have any discussion on that? Nope, no thanks. Mr. Sample? No discussion. No discussion. Jake? No, no, no discussion. Okay, so in that motion, do uh, I, I would like to just put for the record with the standard condition and uh, with, with 
plans revised on 6 8 2020 by Morse Engineering Company. So it's got to be built according to plans revised on 6 8 2020. And of course, this, this us granting you a permit does not relieve you from any other board permits. So that means it doesn't relieve you from board of health, conservation, whatever other boards, you still have to go see them. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Tim, I believe his name. Nazi, I think you have to uh, modify that decision. And uh, Garfield said that the setback was 12.2, not 12.6. So uh, you can't do it by the plan it's shown. Um, you have to have that modified. Okay, so with the modification, okay, so the all right, so the, the revised plan on 6 8 2020 it shows the setback 12.6. Uh, uh, the engineer saying what? 12 point? 12.2. Oh, 12.2. 12.2. So, okay. So, the setback to the, what's north? The setback to the north north side or the, or the west side? The uh, west side. The west side is 12.2. Correction for the record. So, please just, w w Mr. Garfield, if you could make a, a corrected copy and send it to the to the board, please. Absolutely. Okay. Any anything else with the board would like to add? Any board member would like and to add any conditions, other than what we talked about, standard conditions, and we fixed the setback. Anything else would you guys like to add? Nope. Okay. Yeah. I hear none. So let's go with the motion with Veronica. With motion, Veronica's motion. Do I have a second on that? I'll second that, Jacob Morrison. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. Chris Conti, aye. Veronica Debanese, aye. Walter Cruz, aye. Jacob Morrison, aye. And Nazi El Kalasi, aye. Okay, it passes five zero zero. So it carries. So that's good. That's out of the way. Well the agenda. Thank you, Mr. Garfield and Mrs. Vera. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. You're welcome. Okay, uh, we have no continued public hearing. Uh, any anything else you guys would like to discuss? <laughs> Anybody would like to discuss anything before we close? Yeah. Okay, here none. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to to adjourn. Okay, by Thank Veronica. You. Do I have a second? Second, Jacob Morrison. All in favor, say aye. Aye, Chris Conti. Richard Temple. Veronica Devenise, aye. Okay, and Nazi al aye. Okay, remember everyone, next meeting, August 12th, will be at the town hall at the multi, is that the multi-service center, Ken? I don't know if it's gonna be open. We may not be able to do that, but uh, I'm gonna try to get this Selectman's meeting room again. Okay, very good. So, like I said, I won't be around. So, you guys, uh, Jim will be back, and hopefully, you guys will. I'm sure you guys can do it. All right. Thank you. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Good night.